Hello everyone, it's me Woken, I'm here with Zen. Hi guys. We're back at it again at our Pokemon adventure. As we last left off, Chase was looking at us badly in the cave. <laughs> I feel like he looks at us badly no matter what we're doing, but this time it was in a cave. Yeah, and uh, the first of many, here's a Zubat. <laughs> oh, I'm not a rock type, I'm just a ground type, so these hurt me normally. Uh, Do they? Man, yeah. look at that crit though. I know. <laughs> it does nothing. You know what? I had honestly forgotten that you were the lead. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's been a while. I'm the lowest level. I need, to, I need to train up. Oh yeah, I am getting... tanky as hell, though. God, look at me. God, yeah. You are one strong boy here. <laughs> one sturdy boy, except now I'm confused. Accurate to what you were at the age of nine. Yep. Just kind of confused and hurting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a sad story. Saddest story ever told. Please don't be confused. God damn it. All right. We're gonna might be to... might be time to, <laughs> to swap me out already. I forgot the fishman was in here. Oh, that's right. We got the, the fishman Magikarp. Oh yeah. Who yeah. will inevitably be replaced by our superior water type later on? Oh yeah. Our uh, sponsored future water type. Mhm. Mm Let's get quickly. Great changed. deals. Great deals. But we'll talk about that in Vermilion City. Yes, when we get there. <laughs> where we'll meet our uh, final three compatriots. I'm going to just quickly heal you up now. Yeah, that's probably best. There's a Pokemon Center right outside. Yeah. That was. I always thought that was nice of them when I was playing this. Yeah, that's kind of what helps you know that like they thought things out for kids. Because this, this was an actual JRPG, because I've been playing a lot of... Uh, dragon warrior on the game boy they would have made your ass go all the way back to town oh yeah you'd have had to haul ass all the way back to pewter city while avoiding battle yep so you would have to make sure that you had just enough left to be alive god how times have changed i don't know some people lament the way jrpgs now but honestly they're still like crazy intensive only now they're less of a dick about it yeah, it's, it's crazy intensive, but like you don't feel like you're being beaten while you play. Yeah. Oh, a... there's so many Zubats. What are the cool Pokemon in here? It's like Geodude and Clefairy are the hard-to-get ones, right? Yep, yep. And uh, hopefully, if we run into Clefairy, that's another one of our compatriots. It is. She's very Man, hard I find. really like Geodude, too. Uh, it's, a, it's unfortunate that we don't have a Geodude. We couldn't yep. evolve him to Golem anyway, though, because we can't trade. Yeah. You know, it, it always makes me... Uh, one of those things when you grow up, it's weird that they named uh, the final form of Geodude Golem after the ancient Jewish monster that, <laughs> <laughs> that would come to life and was like a rock man. <laughs> and it's weird that he's part lizard. He becomes part lizard later on. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on with Geodude that I don't understand. Yeah, but... Graveler is just a bigger rock, but then Golem is like a lizard in rocks. That's the only reason I feel bad about the Pokemon professors, because like... Our current scientists dealing with evolution, they're like going on maybe they're in intervals where they're like, oh, yes, we understand this. Every year, a new Pokemon is discovered and something that didn't evolve suddenly evolves. And you're like, well, shit. <laughs> we got to go back and change everything. Electabuzz evolves now. <laughs> this is all useless data. Guys, you won't believe this. That Clefairy? Yeah, it's a fairy type. No, we know. <laughs> that's why That's why it's called Clefairy. No, there's a type called fairy. What? We did. We somehow didn't know about it, even though they've been fighting dragons since 1996. And all of a sudden, the dragons, are, it's like they awaken to their power, and they're like, oh shit, actually, we're going to beat the shit out of these dragons now. I like how, even though we're in a new era area, we're still fighting Weedle. Yeah, because there's like, this cave is full of all the crappy little trainers from outside, right? It's like all bug catchers and picnickers. Yeah. And this is crazier because this guy went in here and he's fighting Geodudes and Zubats with a Weedle. <laughs> that Weedle's little head spike must be like the strongest thing. This is the world's but strongest Weedle. This Weedle is the equivalent of like the uh, AGL Shenron that you used to bring on the Super Vegito teams. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's that Weedle. Uh, and thankfully he's now gotten you up to... Oh, you learned Sand Attack. Oh, nice. If I can ever... be mildly frustrating to a harder battle. Oh yeah, let's see. Does anyone else really need any training? No, I'm good. Chase is good. Penta, Penta is, is never going to leave. Train. Yeah. 
Fifth is never gonna leave level three. Here's a sad realization. If there was EXP share, I would gladly get all these Pokemon to their final form. But there uh, is later on, right? Yeah, it's it doesn't come up till gold. But let me just tell you this right now: if you think oh, that's that, right, it is only in gold. Yeah. No, it's in here, but if the EXP share is like stupid. It's like it divides it by six and gives it to little pieces to everyone. So it's oh yeah, you're right. My man, I'm lacking on my old Pokemon knowledge. Yeah, uh, I just remember all this because I remember when I got EXP share, how disappointed I was. Because it's borderline useless, right? Yeah. And I needed to catch fifty fucking Pokemon. So it's like, okay, great, thank you for this useless gift you've given me. Oh, we do have to get an Abra from. Sell it on city so that we can trade it for the Mr. Mime just so we can have a Mr. Mime. Oh, that'd be good. All right. We're not we're not gonna use it. I just want to have it. All right. Mr. Yeah. Mime is like some kind of horrifying genetic monstrosity that shouldn't exist. So uh, we need to have at least one. Mr. Mime, otherwise known as in our playthrough, Mr. Rhyme. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's currently being held captive. We have to go save him by trading it. Uh, we have Abra. to go ransom an Abra off to to yeah. get him back the only way that is a striking resemblance now that i think about it <laughs> between mr mime and mr mime and rhyme yeah the great thing is that uh oh man i'm totally gonna have to make a photoshop of rhyme's head <laughs> on a mr mime aren't i yes 100 percent. all right you know sometimes it takes me a while to figure out what should an episode be called this one got it <laughs> no time at all 100 percent Yep, perfect. I also like to think every Zubat that we see here is like one of those Twitter like randoms that comes up and just spews like horrible shit at people. Oh, one of those guys, anytime you say like, oh man, I really like this, and they come in and go like, actually, you're bad. Yeah, actually, that's fucking stupid, you idiot. I like I... to think that's all the Zubats, but, but they're still Zubats. They're just flying around screaming those things, like hate tweets. Oh, yeah. Re <laughs> uh, they're, um... So They're, the whole game is just screeching, like, ignorant hatred tweets. And also subtweeting. Every yeah. single one of them. <laughs> They're all talking shit about Chase flying around. Oh yeah, they're all subtweeting Chase <laughs> right now, even when we're not in the cave. <laughs> and only you could see it, which is accurate, because you're just a sad true looking at all these dudes, like, subtweeting at them, trying to leech the life off of you. <laughs> That's exactly why they have leech life. They just want to make you less happy. They're trying to leech your joy. This girl is just waiting in the front for her friend. I have a feeling your friend's not coming. How long have you been waiting there? I'm sorry, Les. God, She's been waiting here so long that she caught a Clefairy. Look at this battle-ready fucking Clefairy. Yeah, that Clefairy's ready to go. Yeah, this thing... Now, this, this kind of sprite makes you understand why maybe uh, they were thinking of making it the main Pokemon instead of Pikachu. Because you can see the qualities of a main character in it. Yeah, it's like got the, the cute aspect, but it's a little bit more well-designed than some of the other generic cute Pokemon. Yes. There's like more going on there. All right, I think I'm going to use Bide. Because this thing is actually hurting a bit. But if you survive uh, this, then you're going to... I don't to... think I'm going to. I think, you, I think you chose Bide a little bit too late. Oh, no! Actually, it turns out you're going to be okay. She saw through the strategy. Oh god, this is the world's smartest Clefairy, what the fuck? Yeah, this, dude, this Clefairy is a genius. You said she was battle ready, you should have known. Alright, it's time for the emergency Scoo. <laughs> emergency meat shield, go. Alright, good job, Scoo. You took that pounding. Good job, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at her. Gets, <laughs> takes a lick and keeps on ticking. Get her, Scoo. <laughs> fuck her up. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even affect by your singing. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't think we can bounce back from that. Are you saying? Oh my god. Well, that's good because you're <laughs> level 11 and also we need to heal again. I'm level 11, still asleep. That's the easiest level I've ever gotten. I think nothing explains more of Scoo's like, uh, job in the team. Other than the fact that she just literally beat that Clefairy for you, and she didn't gain a level. And I did, <laughs> while I was asleep. It's perfect. That's why we have her there. I'm so glad we caught Sku. It's like the... <laughs> the meat shield that actually is useful. 
arguably more useful than a lot of the Pokemon we currently have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's gonna fizzle out pretty quick, though. Yeah, but early game, she's gonna be extremely useful to have. Oh, man, I'm still getting used to this tiny little keyboard thing. All right, let's see. How's Chase feeling about us? Is he is he feeling ball sore ready? Let's see, are you ready? Mm. No hearts yet. Yeah, we need the we need the hearts to ensure that our friend uh, Bulbasaur is ready to join us. All right. Pikachu gives us a bad Yelp review. We can't get the Bulbasaur. <laughs> exactly. If uh, our training rating is currently uh, a three at best. <laughs> ah, goddamn it! We're gonna fight this trainer next time, but because uh, we're at the ten minute mark. Good so. God already. Yeah, and all we did was fight some Zubats and then make fun of Ryan. It's <laughs> a good, it's a good episode. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.